It's your girl. I done got myself a vitamin blender. 750, the professional series. And I is so happy. Oh, 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 oh. So this is the big box that it came in. In case you're wondering what that thing is doing on top of it. It is sitting there so that y'all don't see my address. Okay. So this is the box. It is enormous. And I just wondered why this thing was so huge. Apparently there's like loads of this. Okay, what's it called? Air plus stro storo pack stuff. Air bubbly stuff in there. The actual thing is actually quite compact. So that's it. It comes in a very cute box and I'm kind of happy it did not show up like this because basically walking down the street with it, yes, I carry this thing down the street. Yes, I did. So that people see what's inside the box. It comes with the variable speed control, which is over here. You have a pulse function, which is over here, and you can set it, you know, on whatever speed you want. If that's what you want to do it's bpa free which is great it's a two liter capacity the only thing i really wanted to know is how long the cord was you know the um ah, electricity code thingy anyways you know what i mean i wanted to know how long that was um but i guess we'll find out and i'll measure it up for you so this is the um tamper which is designed to not go all the way through to the blade because i've bought something before which was like a magic bullet look-alike it was like a fake and this plunger thingy on that one could be it could fit in two ways and one way prevented it from going to the blades but the other way permitted it to go inside the blades so one day when put the wrong way around what happened yes the tamper was uh, blended with the food not really obviously it's quite a thick material and it's not food or anything squishy or any squishy squishy anyway or anything like that but yeah it did get damaged and that was the end of it actually so obviously with this you're buying a very good product and that should not be happening there's a cookbook in here somewhere so let's just open this side uh -huh. so what is this that's amazing packaging it's really nice so it's just saying welcome can't see that right it's because it's it's written on secret anyway so ooh, 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 I'll ooh, velcro okay i see you little mini cute things okay so this is a dvd which i will be watching at some point it's eight technique videos with your host chef michael Voltag Voltaglio, or something like that so that's cool and then there's an owner's manual, so they're just congratulating me, thank you. And so it's just showing all the compartments, which I don't have much to do with, because uh, I surely hope it's already kind of screwed together. Oh gosh, I, I really hope so. I do not have time to do all that. So it basically shows you all the functions. You know, how to use a tamper and operating instructions. I usually don't even go by instructions. I like just picking stuff out myself, but I may have to read this clearly. It's not that huge. It's quite simple, straightforward. This is about the care and the cleaning of everything, troubleshooting and your warranty. And there's this getting started booklet. And it's just about mastering the basics step by step. Instructional guide. So basically, it's about operating, you know, master the basic blending. Heating, because you know this thing can heat up stuff as well, because so it can make all your nice soups, frozen desserts, purees, 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 whatever. Dry chopping, wet chopping, emulsifying, grinding, mixing, and cleaning. Right, and then you have the other half of it, which is like a full, thick, and big. Whoa, that is not what I expected, y'all. Um, it seems like half of the weight of this thing is this book for real create inspiring recipes for every day of the week so i'm going to open this up they say it has a, over 200 recipes i'm going to open this up and we'll see what it is all about i'll be right back so basically 
you have your brunches, your juices and milks, you have your appetizers, your milkshake, your baked desserts, your cocktails, your dessert condiments. So anyway, energize your weekdays. So this is breakfast, lunches and dinners. So we start here with smoothies, for instance, and we have coffee and cocos. And I don't think they have pictures for all of them, which is quite a shame. But you know, I guess it, you, you know, if you just follow the instructions, obviously it's not going to look the same for everybody as the colors may vary and stuff like that. But this is even like for muffins and stuff. This is really, really cool. How to make peanut butter. And I always thought, what do you need to make the peanut butter? Well, obviously, just dry roasted peanuts. That's about it. And it makes a creamy peanut butter. And there's, so there's so many things. There's soups and loads. Anyway, I won't go through all of that and bore you. But yeah, so that is a massive book. And you'll be able to do loads with that. How do I get this out? I just lift it up here. Oh, there's this white stuff. I don't know what it's called in English, but anyway. So I'm going to try to assemble this. It doesn't seem like it's going to be too hard. It's just this, this thing on top of that thing, <laughs> and the tamper. And this is the cord thingy. And that's about it. So I'm excited to put this thing together, give it a wash, and start making something. And I'm really interested in the noise level. So we'll see about that. So I will be right back. So that's it here. And you can see the switches are, you know, easy to use. Now the cord does not look all that long, unfortunately. It doesn't still say how long the cord actually is. I just want to get that fabric scent or whatever off it, so I'm just going to wipe it with a, a damp cloth. Maybe a microfiber cloth, because I think that's what somebody recommended on like YouTube or something to use, and it makes more sense to use that as you know it's less abrasive to you know the material that the thing is made of and that goes for the actual container as well so I'm just going to get a micro a new microfiber cloth and I'm just going to make it damp and wipe this look at that pretty pink color just one more thing at the back you see that it's nice and ventilated and what people say is that you know there's 40% less noise than all the other Vitamixes on this module just because you know more air is allowed to pass through the back uh, of it. Also, I want to show you the lines that show you the capacity of the beaker thing. Um, they're all marked and you can't get them off, so that's really good. And so you have up to 2,000 milliliters here in lines. And then if you turn it around, you have it in ounces. I don't know if you can see it. So it goes up to 64 ounces, and then that is equivalent to eight cups. So you can see that there, which is really good. And it is quite easy to see as well. So that's really, really handy, especially the fact that it cannot work. Um, in your owner's manual, it talks about service and registration. It can be found at the back of the motor base. But in the case of something happening to it, you know, maybe six years from now, you wouldn't remember all these details. You wouldn't know where to find them. You wouldn't want to go look for them. You would just want them handy. So it's a very good thing to be prepared and write all these things down beforehand. And I've put a little bit of soapy water or a few drops of soap in water. And I'm just going to try the cleaning mode. Let's see how that works out. So this right here, I don't know if you can see it, but the bottom one is for cleaning. So it's doing the thing. It's gonna go higher and higher. So this is the sun. It makes quite a bit of noise, <laughs> but it's all right, I suppose. I mean, it does the job, so that's good. So now I'm going to make something to actually eat. I added quite a bit of more soap. As you can see, it's more green now because I don't like that fabric smell. That just that just has to go. So I'm gonna try this again. And I switch it on and it's gonna go high by itself. And I'm going to stand outside of this room to see how loud it actually sounds. And I'm lucky I did not go out of the room because look at what it's doing. It was about to overflow. I guess it was too foamy, too soapy. But I could let this sit for a while and let the scent go away and rinse it with hot water. I saw on the website of the shop that I bought this in 
about two weeks ago when I was thinking of buying the Vitamix blender so that you could get one of these um, beaker thingies for free including a book there now when I initially went to buy the blender there was no mention of this and I couldn't find it on the website anymore so eventually when I went to collect it because it had to be ordered in um, I just basically asked about you know the auto beaker thingy and this book and the lady went online and she saw in the list of promotions that there was such a thing but it didn't show up on the internet so the promotion was going to go on for more than a month from now so I got the deal and in fact I did not get one of these I ended up getting two and this book about how to get radiant skin how much protein to eat and stuff like that by this lady which is an interesting read I suppose this works out works like this you basically have this thing here you push it down and you press this and it pops open and you can just drink your beverage from here and it's nice and wide now enough chat about this I'm going to rinse this out put the smoothie on and I'll show you what it looks like and so it's about to go down this is the scene right here Just rinsed off um, the container after making the smoothie and I'm going to make the kind of tortilla chips type recipe that they speak about in the book only I'm adding mint to mine this is some celery this is some carrots all organic um, I have a slight whoop, I have a slice of ginger here what else do I have in here I have a cube of a cube of garlic you can get them like this in the supermarket so I have that going on, then I have some onions that I fried, I have some rosemary, I have some chicken stock, I have some thick chopped tomatoes and some pepper. So that's it done now, nice hot soup. Yeah, you can see that, can't you? I'm going to put that in my Systemas to go. And now for the next adventure, can this thing make hot custard? It is possible to make hot custard in your Vitamix blender. The only problem is, you know how sticky custard is. So some of the custard got stuck underneath the blaze. I tried the cleaning program, which you saw before. I tried putting hot water in it. I tried soapy water. I tried soaking it for a few hours. Nothing worked. So I had to get this Bristol thingy. And a very dangerous task, if you ask me. Get underneath these sharp blades and try and maneuver the thing um, underneath it and kind of wiggle backwards and forwards wiggle 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 and try and get all the custard out and the custard itself was kind of gloopy and not very nice i would say just use the microwave it is not worth this much effort i got it clean eventually but just don't do it the cord is 2.2 meters which is 86 inches amazing time to talk tamper so this is just to demonstrate to you that it really does not hit the blades. If you secure, secure the lid um, quite firmly on top of the container, it will not touch the blades. It just kind of hovers above it. So there's absolutely nothing to worry about. But now I sure do hope this helped you out. And enjoy your Vitamix. Enjoy whatever blender you have. Eat healthily, more nutritiously, more consciously, make time for life, and live it the healthy way. And see you next time. Bye. Mwah.